What's going on, car family? I'm Ben Wayne. I'm Isha Wayne. And thank you for joining us in another video. Today, we're taking a look at a very special vehicle. I've been waiting to get my hands on this one. This is the 2022 GMC Sierra Denali 1500 Ultimate. So this is one of the top trims, right? Let me just tell you guys <laughs> how excited he is. Okay, we have been, we've had this roughly a week. Yes and uh it's definitely a showstopper yes it's... i mean <laughs> amongst the men okay yes it's almost like a hey i got a truck too let me see yours it's that's a... nice so this is a gorgeous truck and as you guys know gmc has done a refresh to their entire sierra lineup right so this particular denali is done in a titanium rush metallic it features a beautiful interior this is known as alpine umber and it also features a nice open pour paldeo wood trim it's very nice it's it's cool it's not your typical wood trim right like you know it's wood but it also has this carved wood design the, in it yes. the grain is carved yes. in there it's pretty cool so the topography yeah that outlines the mountain that's actually named denali Nice. Now, Denali, I the mountain. I love when a, when a manufacturer does that. <laughs> right. You know how I Connecting feel about the that. dots. Yes. So, Denali is actually the highest elevation in all of North America. Nice. So, they're making a statement by naming their vehicle this. Yes. Yeah. They're saying I this mean, is it. it's been named that. Yes. Yeah. It's been named that and it's been recognized as one of the top luxury trims. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, today, let's talk about this model. We've already talked a little bit about the revised Sierra AT4X a few months ago and you're going to notice a lot of similarities right but this one is for the street the AT4X was for off-roading so starting at the front what you're getting is a black chrome all over the grill so I love those black chrome accents sometimes in the traditional Denali models that just have the regular chrome it could be a little bit of a chrome gone wild show up there but I love how they did it in a dark chrome really goes great with this paintwork yeah i mean i think it makes a definite rugged edge statement but also very sleek and classy exactly so the gmc badge sits proudly in the grill you'll notice that that badge has been done in black as well to go with the dark chrome theme as opposed to the traditional red that the gmc badge is in and that just makes it look a little bit more elegant and it makes it look a bit more expensive mm -hmm. when you take the color away from it now, the hood is very subtle in styling. Underneath that hood, we have a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 that's gonna give us 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. Now, there are also a couple other options. You do have a three liter diesel that you can option out with, or you do have a 5.3 liter V8 that you could go with as well, if you choose to do so. But this one has the top trim. This is the ultimate. And this does have the top option with the 420 horsepower V8. So that's connected to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Zero to 60 occurs in about 6.1 seconds in this one. Nice. Coming to the side profile, it's done up with 22-inch wheels, done in a low-gloss black paintwork. And then it has the machined aluminum accents highlighting the design of the wheels. I think that looks absolutely magnificent. You also have the powered running boards. So as soon as you open and close the doors, those running boards will pop out for you, giving you easier ingress and egress to the vehicle. So it's not like the AT4X that didn't have the running boards. I don't know if you remember that. That one sat a little bit higher as well, about two inches higher. Mm -hmm. The ground clearance of this one is just over eight inches and you have the running boards to assist you getting in and out of the vehicle. So far, the running boards have worked like magic for me. Yes. I have not even hurt myself, okay? <laughs> right. It's automatic, it pops out, but I, it's great. I like the feature. You also have the chrome side view mirrors that contrast great with the paintwork as well and chrome window surrounds as well so this is the denali trim level you're going to get those chrome accents that you didn't get in the at4x which kind of had a little bit more of a sporty appeal 
I'll throw some B-roll of that AT4X to jog everybody's memories so you can see what the Sierra looks like in that trim level. But from the side profile on the front, I think this is one of the most beautiful trucks on the market. I want this one bad. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. I want this one something serious. Now, you do also have an ultra silky smooth suspension system issue you notice in the week that we've had this it's been a nice smooth ride right yeah it has you don't feel any of the bumps that drastically in the road right due it's to been the, fairly smooth especially for a truck exactly so due to the weight in that large wheelbase you're going to get a nice smooth ride and it makes it feel luxurious which is what denali is all about right denali trim level is all about luxury now, coming towards the back, the first thing you'll notice is you're going to get that multi-pro tailgate system. That tailgate system that I folds each kind of way. I love <laughs> that tailgate system. I hope they incorporate that in just every truck. It's, it's necessary. Exactly. So it can fold out. The top portion can fold out so you have a desk. You also have another portion that pulls out and doubles as a bed extender. You can also drop it as a traditional tailgate mm -hmm. and then drop that mini portion again to allow you easier access to things that might be further located inside the bed mm -hmm. right speaking of the bed that's done in a carbon fiber that's nice as well features led lights also has hooks on all four corners that have up to 500 pounds of capability that's a cool trick there you also have a power outlet integrated in the bed I mean, all these features. Remember trucks in the 90s? They had none of this stuff. Right. No, it was literally just a truck. <laughs> it was literally just a truck. <laughs> something you could throw something big in the back end. Yeah. But, you know, this Denali just has all the features that you could ever want. Right? You also have up to 13,000 pound towing capacity in this vehicle. Now, the back is done with GMC and Denali branding as well. You do have LED tail lamps to go with those LED daytime running lamps and headlamps as well. So beautiful features all throughout this vehicle from every angle. It's definitely a head turner, even if it just gets 15 city and 20 highway when it comes to that fuel economy. But quite frankly, nobody's buying this vehicle for fuel economy, right? <laughs> no. You know, if you're buying this, obviously, you know, you're going to be hauling some stuff every now and then. You could fit your whole family in the interior, right? So there's definitely some daily drivability in this vehicle. Daily usability, justification to bring this into your driveway, right? So let's talk a little bit about that interior, Isha. Go for it. All right. Let me sum it up for you guys. So we have nice leather trim with your uh, white pipe stitching here. White contrast stitching, the width yep. of the... Vehicle. This to me looks like um, it's not carbon fiber, but um, it, it's it's a plastic, but it has a metallic yeah, you know, design which is very to it. very nice. Looks I, I very like nice. that. Then um, we, Ben already mentioned your wood grain here with the topography, typo typography yeah. Yeah. of the mountains that are Denali, <laughs> yeah. which are very nice. It's very it nice. also comes with some chrome finishings here. Um, and uh, that is translated throughout the entire cabin, actually. It's really nice. Um, but you also have some brown leather finishing here with a really cool, um, kind of like a honeycomb stitch. I'm not sure what that's called, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's um, like a cross stitching that goes against yeah. uh, the leather on the door panels. Right. And How does it also, feel? It's pretty cool. It's nice and nice. smooth. Yeah. Um, it feels and, quality. And the same is on your um, both chair, on all the chairs actually. But wait, wait. This is what they decided to do. They did the chairs in three colors. You have your pipe stitching here, which is that that nice. Yeah, the white pipe. Yeah. Yep. Oh my gosh! Wait, the Denali is etched here. Yes. It is in <laughs> the, oh, topo the, wow. topo the topography is. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing, guys. I didn't even notice that. I love it. I like to like see like the small details that translate from the outside inside that make the brand the brand. It's also that's, on the door panels that's as well. Great. Yeah, it is on the door panels. I love so that. So they have the Denali Mountain actually mapped out on the dash 
the seats and the door panels, yes. guys. Yes. So that shows you the level of quality that mm -hmm. you're getting in terms of the interior. But make mention, this is like a color block. You have your black leather here, brown, <laughs> and then the uh, white. Well, it's kind of like a cream, cream. Yeah. You know, stitch here, which just gives it that subtle little pop. Right. Very, very nice. The interior is done well. And don't forget, you, they you know hit you with some Alcantara too. <laughs> exactly. So, How'd I do, guys? <laughs> so in terms of materials and the way it's been executed, it sounds like you're very impressed with that. Yeah, I am. I do love the way that they incorporated the technology in this vehicle. New for 2022, nice large 13.4 inch display screen, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You also have access to your camera systems as well. Camera systems are the bomb. The camera systems are <laughs> ultra sharp. This isn't one of those new vehicles that they're giving you with some cheap resolution. It they're is very high good. definition. It even has a front camera. Like that was yep. amazing when you were like, wait a minute, a sharp turn here. I yep. need to be able to see the radius. So if you want to see where you're turning into, you can use that camera system to do so. We're not in park now, so it's not really going to be displayed. It's not going to show, show it. But oh, okay. There it you is go. ultra crisp. Like I'm telling you, it is starting to be fall here in Atlanta. Yeah. I was able to see each of the individual leaves on my driveway in yeah. clarity Very on nice. the screen. Don't forget to forget that yeah. it's also a <laughs> Right. Mirror, you a also have mirror. a rear view mirror. GM was the first to start doing that. Optional camera system in there. Or Very you can use nice. the traditional camera. If Remember you want. Uh, when we were driving in one of the vehicles like this? Uh, and somebody was like, hey, I saw myself. I saw myself in yeah. there. They're like, that's me. Like, that's really so cool. So that goes to show you the camera quality is ultra sharp where somebody who is outside of the vehicle yes. recognizes their car yes. on the screen. Yes. So I'm impressed with that camera quality there. So you got wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, all the camera features, different camera angles, as you can see from the top. You can either see from the sides as well. You can also see in the back, and if you're towing something, you know, you get more options as well. So I think that's a really nice feature, and it is easy to navigate as well. Really impressed with that. Coming lower, you'll notice we have air conditioning controls here. Physical buttons for your air conditioning controls, Isha. So not everything is just touch on the touch screen, yeah. right? This is a good mesh of touch screen and physical buttons. So you can't say it can't be done. <laughs> you know, the other manufacturers. Right. Coming lower, you do have more physical buttons as well. There's one button here that drops all four windows at a simple touch if you want to ventilate the vehicle instantaneously. Mm -hmm. And I've used that quite a bit. Yes. Especially yes. if the vehicle's sitting in the sun, you know, you can use that quite a bit. Of course, you have two cup holders, wireless charging, your gear selector. You do have two USB ports and plenty of storage in here. You'll notice the topography is also incorporated and to yes. the design here. That is, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's nice. Now, the seating is extremely comfortable. It is. Three levels of heating, three levels of cooling, massaging features, everything that you could you want. Didn't, you didn't. I'm not turning it off for you. <laughs> everything that you could want is in the seats. You can sit in these seats for hours and hours on end. If gas is not a factor for you, you can take this on a road trip, right? Mm -hmm. So if gas is not a factor, this is definitely something that would be a nice vehicle to cruise in during a road trip. I would love to take this somewhere. I would too, but I would love to have a massage right about now. And that's what you're looking for. Yes, you don't even know. I don't even know how to get to it. Coming over to the steering wheel, the steering wheel is heated, wrapped in leather, features that contrast stitching, Denali branding in the center. You also will notice this has a light band on the top of the steering wheel. That means they threw their Super Cruise technology inside the Denali as well. So we first saw that in the Cadillac Escalade when we reviewed that. Behind the steering wheel, we do have a thin film transistor display. So when it comes to tech, the GMC Denali is now where it should have been a few years ago. And I can go as far as to say it is now competing and even beating some of the competition out there. This vehicle literally has everything. We're talking about 44 inches of legroom up front. Very 43.4 inches of legroom in the rear. Very spacious, very spacious. So the legroom in the front and rear is almost the same. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm nice. saying. 
Very nice. Trucks like these with the crew cabs are getting people out of their sedans and getting families into trucks. <laughs> yeah. And that is the truth. You know, I would love to have this over a standard sedan. Yeah. Because this is more versatile. Everybody always wants to know somebody who has a truck. <laughs> Don't if, be that person, though. <laughs> if you have $80,000, you can be the person who has the truck. The truck. There you, <laughs> you go. You know what I'm saying? Don't be the person with a truck. Have, be the person with the truck. <laughs> this truck is incredible. And the seats in the rear, they're heated as well. They also feature storage compartments built into the seats. If that's not enough for you, the seats lift up and you can use that entire back area for storage. I can take a nap. You can take a nap back there if you want. You know, that's the level of comfort you're getting. Right? So there are only really two things that this Sierra Denali is missing. And that is one, a full panoramic roof. You'll notice we have a standard sunroof in this vehicle. You know, GMC needs to join the market and do the full panoramic roof. But that's not a deal breaker for a lot of people. And two is second row ventilated seats. Now, if I'm the owner, I really don't care about that because I'm going to be the only one driving this vehicle. Right. And I'll enjoy the ventilated seats up here. <laughs> right? So if you sit in the second row, you know, that's your problem. Okay. But overall comfortability, they knocked it out of the park on this one. The ride is somewhat quiet. You know, it's getting to the point where these things don't even feel like a truck anymore. You know, the way it's able to block out noises from the exterior, the smooth ride, you know, heated and massaging seats. This is true luxury. It is like the Escalade in truck form. Mm. So, Isha, you have any closing thoughts? I think it's, you know, to be honest with you, we have, you know, reviewed several trucks. By far, this one meets the truck uh, standard and the luxury though we've seen some at this price point that just does not nail it yeah this nails it all the way around this is it this is it you know I, I, you know some of the others are just standard comparable right, right. this really really has it i feel right. good this is nice yeah um, guys you really need to check out one of these for yourself and don't tell me about the truck you have at home and my blah 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 can do that you know, whatever you're driving, it ain't this. <laughs> you know, it's the way it's executed. And for something that's built and designed right here, you know, this makes you proud. This is just an incredible vehicle. Um, and I'm really loving the options, the palette of colors they're giving you on the mm. interior. Because a few years ago, you would have never saw right. a color like this. It would have just been black or something like that. And it just... As soon as you open the door, it's like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And uh, it's just incredible. So that's my thoughts on this one. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, I'm Ben Wayne, the automotive reviewer that YouTube deserves.